The Newfoundland dog, affectionately known as the Newfie, is a very particular dog and is usually owned by a very particular person. They're extremely big, they're friendly, a bit doolally, but very lovable. They were bred as a working dog by the seafarers of Newfoundland in eastern Canada, and they have webbed feet and water-resistant coats to make them excellent swimmers. On a recent training session with some friends of hers, I caught up with Christine Keenan, a devoted Newfie enthusiast. They learn water rescue. They learn how to pull boats back. Um, it completely depends um, on what the dog's doing, but it's all to do with life-saving. Um, people will jump out of boats, and as the people jump out of boats, the dogs will actually swim straight out and collect them. They'll round people up um, and rescue as many as they can and bring them back. So that, that's, that's actually what they do, it's water rescue. It's thought that the Newfie originated from crossing Native American dogs with the large mastiffs taken to Canada by the early settlers. They adore human contact, they're good with children, and so they're sometimes known as the gentle giant. There are many stories passed down over the centuries about the loyalty and bravery of these dogs and their amazing life-saving feats in dangerous waters. One is even reputed to have saved the life of the French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte when he fell overboard on his famous escape from the Isle of Elba. In parts of the world, they assist helicopter crews on coastal patrols and there is still a new fee working with the lifeguard crew in Cornwall in the southwest of Britain. They like to do water training, rescue dog, like rescue people, um, and they just like to have a bit of fun in the water. It's good exercise for them, and uh, they just love it. They've got a good undercoat, which keeps them actually dry. Their coat will still be dry, but the undercoat, like their body is actually still dry. So, um, but they absolutely love it. <laughs> but it's just something that's built in them. Straight from a very young age, they know they love water. Normally dirty water rather than clean. <laughs> a lake, yes, a swimming pool or a, or a lovely paddling pool of clean water, not always, but a nice dirty lake they love. 